we jousted with fake lances, you know, we'd just be that next theatrical performance. But when we joust with the solid lances in one of the most fierce styles known, it's the Rallgestick style, where that bolt that gritty grand guard onto the chest, there's no leniency. You're going to get hit, and you're going to get hit with that 5,000 pounds of force at that 60 kilometers an hour. So this is really the demolition derby in the Middle Ages. Now this is our fifth annual Subway Celtic Festival and Highland Games event. It's also an opportunity for us to really celebrate who we are as a community because when we look at the makeup of our city, um, approximately 65% of our community have some sort of um, Celtic roots, whether it be through the French, Canadians, the Scottish, the Irish, and those were a lot of the immigrants who came here, founded Sudbury, and um, they had contributed to the business community, the industrial community, so just about everybody in the community has some part. kind of Celtic roots and some kind of connection to it, so looking at that, we see that as a huge opportunity to really throw this into uh, Sudbury's Heritage Festival. What did you think of the show here today? It was really good, actually. What was your favorite part? When they're jousting. Do you think one day you would like to be a knight? Yes. What did you think of the Knights of Valley today? Awesome. What was the best part of it? Uh, when they were sword fighting. Each one of these draft horses that we have here are very close to 2,000 pounds, some are over. Um, the armor that the guys wear, it's 140 pounds, some less, some more, uh, of full plate stainless steel suits armor that were designed, of course, back then to receive that impact force. But even now in this modern day and age, people are expecting to see that much more of a hit, that much more of a, of a train wreck. And uh, in the days of old, in the 16th century, a lot of the guys wearing these suits of armor were actually nobility. They were the only people really that had enough money to be able to afford such equipment. So they didn't want to go out and kill each other. So a lot of the times that they jousted, they did so with fluted lances, lances that were made to break, like medieval times or other theatrical jousting troops out there in the world. For us though, we wanted to keep the true spirit of jousting alive and, and the only way to do so is to actually joust for real.